so this is a case of troseosine so this is seen in hypocalcemia so what we have to do here is that we have to inflate the blood pressure above 20 millimeters of mercury that means that if the systolic blood pressure is 120 millimeters of mercury so you have to add, add additional 20 so what happens here is that there is a typical spasm which is seen so this spasm is nothing but the carpopedal spasm so what happens here in carpopedal spasm there is a flexion in the, at the wrist joint and then there is the flexion of the metacarpophalangeal joints you can see here in this video and then there is extension of the interphalangeal joints and then we have the adduction of the thumbs and fingers so this is a very painful procedure and uh, like uh, we have to wait for around uh, 3 to 5 minutes but usually it's so much painful that uh, we have to release the uh, inflation cuff okay and uh, this is the typical uh, feature which is uh, seen in trosseus sign so now i'll be discussing about hypocalcemia like we have seen the sign now these signs are seen in hypocalcemia so now we'll be discussing that uh, what are the causes of hypocalcemia so the first cause of hypocalcemia is the parathyroid hormone deficiency okay so whenever if there is parathyroid uh, hormone deficiency or there is vitamin d deficiency there is dietary calcium deficiency or uh, hypermagnesemia hypomagnesemia kidney failures these can be the causes of hypocalcemia now what are the symptoms of hypocalcemia the symptoms are like uh, uh, there is congestive heart failure there is mu muscle stiffness muscle spasm we have seen this muscle uh, spasm here then cataracts dry dry coarse skin dermatitis these are the symptoms of hypercalcemia. Now coming to the treatments. Now the treatment part here, the most important is the intravenous calcium supplement. We give intravenous calcium supplement. We monitor under medical supervision. And of course, uh, we also have to treat the underlying disease. And uh, oral supplementation is also given. Preventive measure is that we have to maintain a diet. Diet which is uh, sufficient in fat soluble vitamins including vitamin D and dietary calcium. Then is uh, like uh, the moderate amount of sun exposure of course this increases the vitamin d intake so we have to take moderate amount of sun exposure okay so this was all about hypocalcemia okay thanks for watching guys